Even if you don't have one, you should know more about crawl spaces. Today, we're gonna look at crawl spaces. Ken Allison here with IDI, and I wanna to talk to you about the fact that there are 26 million existing crawl spaces out there, 260,000 more of them coming online every year. The bulk of them not taken care of. And the truth is, you know, Dr. Joe Strebrick says, the worst thing we can have is mechanical in a ventilated crawl space. If we've got a crawl space, we wanna take care of it. If it's in a flood area, we certainly wanna just insulate the bottom of the home and seal that. But if it's not in a flood area, we wanna close that area off and prevent any bad air quality. Indoor air quality is huge these days. Well, a big part of crawl spaces is the liner that goes across the bottom of that crawl space. When we talk about liners, so many people are familiar with the fact that we've used poly for years, plastic, just like this. And when you look at this, you can see how easily this stuff tears. In fact, it tears very easily. But there's also something known as puncture resistance. Now, I'm able to put stuff through this pretty easily. And when you're going around on a crawl space, you're working in there, you're walking on it. But that's not what usually does this stuff in. What usually does this in, if you notice this cloudy color to it, you can see my hand on the back, this is not virgin polyester. The poly that you're looking at on here is actually recycled. That's why we see so much haze to it. Recycled products don't have the strength, they don't have the longevity, they tend to break down over time. They don't even need to be in the sun. They break down in crawl spaces and places like that. So let's look at an alternative. If we go from something like this to, let's say, another thin mill. This happens to be an eight mill, but let's say this was a six mill poly. This is a 6.5 mill, and this product is nearly impossible to tear. It has over 100 pounds of tear strength. We'll look at the, at the uh, sheet in just a minute on it, but you'll notice that it's string reinforced. So what I wanna look at real quick on these is first off, they're not just a poly. They are a poly where they have been reinforced with string. This isn't just any string. You can certainly look at the strand and see how thin it is. There's very little to this. But if I try to tear this string, this string is gonna put a hurt on my hand. What I'll do is wrap it around my arm and you can hear it break. This string is what reinforces this. On top of that, I want to show you the machines these come out of. When we're dealing with a standard poly, that is just blown into a film. When we look at these string reinforced multi-layer products, those are going to have a huge machine that brings those layers in together along with the string reinforcement to create a product that has tremendously better properties. What do I mean by those properties? Let's take a look right here. If we look at, this says 255 pounds of force for puncture resistance for this six and a half mil product. Well, in comparison, this poly is 260 grams of force, just grams. We convert this to grams, this is 8,825 grams of puncture resistance. They're not in the same world. But even when we get to vapor permeance, a six mil poly is not considered to be a vapor barrier where this is 0, 0, 0.0095 perms. So on this, these products are some of the only products that are even rated for soil gases. That's right, these are literally rated for radon mitigation. These products are in a whole different world. Even in comparison to each other, when we take the most standard product used in the industry, if we take a 10 mil versus a 12 mil, this is just a competitive product, the, the 10 mil on this product handles 626 pounds of force, it has 138 pounds of tear resistance, and yet it only weighs 36 pounds per thousand square feet, as opposed to 59 for most, and the poly would be heavier weighing than that. So these products, bright white, brilliant, 
really can't tear them. You can walk on them. They're easy to install. So when you go to install this, we're going to do an install video. In fact, we're going to do a big video series on crawl spaces. But the main thing is making sure that this becomes a barrier, that all of your seams work together, that they're fully taped, and that when you get it up on the wall, you have nothing coming up from the sides. You want it to look pretty. You want it to be around the piers. It's very easy to do that with this product. Look at the pliability of this product. It's very workable. The other thing I want to show you is the two-sided tape that they use for this product looks like this. Imagine trying to put most tapes up on a cinder block wall. This product will adhere to cinder block quite well. We're going to pull off a chunk right here of it to give you an idea. You can tell how pliable this stays for years. Well, this product gets into the pores on the cinder block wall but even after I roll it around in my hand, what you're going to find is it will stick to just about anything. Look at this. So it's a great tape for going between those seams. As I wrap this over, or I was trying to go over the seams. In fact, we can do this and just lay it down. That's going to hold that in place. And then I can use the bright white tape to hold the seams down. It's bright white tape. Again, another very strong tape, but the problem with this stuff is often you got to use a knife or you've got to find a way to cut it. This is perforated on the sides so that I don't need a knife to cut this in the crawl space. I can simply get this off the roll, go over my seams, and make it look nice. Now, one last product of theirs I want to show you is when we get to the higher end, they even have a liner that has a radiant barrier on the back side and there's a layer of foam in between here. So this would be an insulated product. Tremendous line. I know a lot of people have talked about different crawl space liners and, and uh, films that they've had problems with over the years. This is 100% virgin polyester. It's not going to degrade. On top of that, the resins that are used in it, the glues and everything about it. We have not had any complaints on smells or other issues that have plagued some of the other products in the industry. So hopefully that gives you some information on the Viper product. We're very proud to carry it. Any questions on this or any of our other products, contact your local branch manager or reach out to those of us at corporate. I'm Ken Allison with IDI and we look forward to earning your crawl space business every day.